Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here. Just showing you guys my collection of Invicta watches. Uh, I own three as of right now. Uh, it is June of 2015. I just got my third one this past week. So figured I'd do a video and show you guys all three of them side by side here. So in case you can't tell, I like blue. <laughs> um, uh, we have a, uh, from my left to right, the first watch that I got was the Invicta Grand Diver. Uh, it's an automatic uh, with a Japanese movement, about a 48 millimeter uh, case. Um, in the middle here is the Invicta Venom Generation 2 Jason Taylor uh, edition or special edition. Um, this box right here, this white box that you see, uh, came with that watch. In fact, this box is numbered to that watch. It's a matching set. Um, oh, by the way, I have separate videos on each of these watches. So if you guys want to go check those out, check them out. I also have a video comparing these two, comparing these two, and comparing those two on the end there. So, um, anyway, you guys check those out on my channel. Anyway, um, and then here, this is a Sabakwa Noma 5 Swiss automatic. And, uh, it has the SW 500 movement in it. Um, to give you guys, a uh, little uh background or story on them like i said this was my first one i got it off of ebay i bought it for 140 dollars my second one i bought from a store in orlando florida uh they had we're having a really good sale really good price uh i got this for 300 dollars it was actually 280 and then you added in tax and fees and all that and it came to right at 300 dollars uh for this one and then this one I just got off of eBay, and I paid $365 for it. Uh, great prices. Uh, with Invictus, you got to really know what you're looking at and uh, do your homework, do your research so that you don't overpay um, for, for a watch. So uh, anyway, uh, this one real quick, I'll pull them out one by one for you guys. Put that there show you some close-ups of it. Like I said, I have separate videos on all these, so this is just sort of a show and tell. Just sort of showing you guys what's going on with them. Okay, the next, the Venom Generation 2. Like I said, I like blue. I don't know what it is, but on a watch, blue just really does it for me. There's the back. You guys can see that. Okay. And of course, the Sabakwa Noma 5. This is my favorite one out of them all. Simply because of the detail, the way it's done. That bracelet just is awesome. It's amazing. There you go. There's that automatic, automatic movement. All right, yeah, so, like I said, that's my collection as of right now, as it stands. Um, so, to recap, we have an Invicta Grand Diver with a Japanese movement. We have an Invicta Venom Generation 2 Jason Taylor Special Edition with a quartz movement. And then we have a Sabakwa Noma 5 Automatic with a Swiss movement. So, um, if you guys have any questions or comments... Feel free to leave them below in the comment section. If you have any Invictas, let me know. I'd love to hear about them. Or if you have pictures or videos, post them below. Uh, you know, that way people coming to this video can link to your video and, and you know, just see more, uh, more great uh, watches here as you see. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and hope you have a good day.